Now we're going to take a look at some of the motion equations for constant acceleration. It's the one-dimensional motion under constant acceleration. So Dr. John Paul Strapp was a U.S. Air Force officer who studied the effects of extreme deceleration on the human body. On December 10, Strapp rode a rocket sled accelerating from rest to a top speed of 282 meters per second. 10 okay in five seconds and was brought largely back to rest only in 1.4 seconds calculate his a his acceleration and b his deceleration express each in multiples of g by taking the ratio to the acceleration of gravity okay so in general the equation we're going to use is um so the uh, acceleration is the change in velocity over time Okay, so that means we're going to go with the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by time. So he went 282 meters per second. He started at rest at 0 meters per second. And he did this all in 1.4 seconds. So 2, uh, no, uh, 5 seconds. Sorry, I was reading the wrong one. Uh, 5 seconds for this one. So 282 divided by 5 is 56.4. And the units are meters per second squared. Okay, so in his de and then in terms of in terms of how many g's that it, you just divide this by divided by nine point eight, and you can get as a ratio of um, five point seven six g's or five point eight g. And here we have this. It's the same equation, change in velocity of time, but this time he ends at rest. And his initial velocity, or the, the velocity he's decelerating from, is 282. And he does this in 1.4 seconds. And that's negative 201 meters per second squared. And if I divide that by 9.8, uh, that's negative 20.6 g's. That's a lot of g's, actually. OK. So assume that an intercontinent intercontinental ballistic missile goes from rest to a suborbital speed of 6.5 kilometers per second in 60 seconds the actual speed and time are classified what is its average acceleration in multiples of g again change in velocity over time so we're going to do um, 6.5 kilometers per second divided by 60 seconds now i want to multiply this by because I want to convert this to meters, so this is really, or I don't have to multiply. I guess it's 6,500 meters per second in 60 seconds. So that's 6,500 divided by 60, and I get 108.3, 108.3 meters per second squared. And if I divide that by 9.8, that is 11 g's. So 108.3 meters per second squared and 11 g's. A well-thrown ball is caught in a well-padded mitt. If the deceleration of the ball is blah and 1.85 milliseconds elapses from the time the ball first touches the mitt until it stops, what was the initial velocity of the ball? Well, we can still use the same equation, uh, delta v over t. But this time, we know the acceleration, we know the time, we know the change in velocity. So we can solve for delta v is a times t. The acceleration was 2.1 times 10 to the 4 meters per second. It's actually negative because it was slowing down, but it doesn't really matter in this one. And then this is 1.85, but it's milliseconds, so it's time tens to the minus three seconds. So that equals 2.1 e4, 38. Point, but we'll say 38.85 meters per second. And um, because it ended at rest, this is what must have been the initial velocity. That, because if the change was 38.85 and, and one of them was at rest, that's what it initially uh, started at and decelerated to. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I go through a lot more of these exact kinds of problems with much longer videos uh, on my website. It's entirely free. Check out the link in the description below.